Yo yo yo, what is up guys, welcome back to a brand new F1 2020 video, today back with a league race, this time the F ORL season 14 finale around Bahrain International Circuit, as you can see heading out for my second last uh, qualifying run, currently we are P1 with a 24.163, uh, which was set on my first push lap. Um, at the time it was 1.6 tenths faster than anyone else, so very solid banker. And then on my second one I was a 1 tenth up, but um, I lost the rear on the final corner, so I decided to back out of that one and then maybe get another two push laps in, which is what I'm aiming for currently. It's There's seven minutes left. Uh, I don't you can see I'm be a little bit of a move on, but as you can see I'm pushing quite hard to try and get that um, try to get those two push laps in. So um, getting a bit of a move on on this outlap. Uh, currently we have already won the championship I think two or three races ago. Uh, very good season so far. We have won six, uh, no sorry, seven out of the eight races and we are on a six win streak looking to make it seven today. So very good season. Probably my best season in league racing ever as um, well seven out of eight wins. Probably could have gone 8 out of 8, but I made the mistake in China, making the pit stop before the rain. Um, but yeah, that's uh, the risk you have to take sometimes. And I uh, didn't get it right that time around. But anyway, looking to uh, get my tires nicely uh, up to temperature. A good temperature Did window. Did screw up their second lap or what? Most people, yep. Yeah. Unless he is on their second lap now. Just entering first sector. So 6 minutes remaining on the clock. Uh, which means it's going to be a little bit tight on time um, for that final push lap. But anyway, we are going to start a push lap, try to carry as much speed as possible down this main straight, uh, reaching top speeds of around 330 kph per hour. Um, I, I said k per hour twice. Um, anyway, uh, we go 400s up going through turn 1. Dropped a little bit on the exit as you can see there. Only 100 up now, going into turn 4, uh, braking just before the curb, down to 3rd gear and then short shift to 4th, sometimes up to 5th as well, this time I didn't, uh, heading towards through this fast chicane, all about keeping the car nice and balanced, braking for this hairpin, down to 2nd gear and then short shift to 3rd to minimize wheel spin, you can see we gained so much there, 800s up now, going into this very tricky braking zone, down to 2nd gear, 1st gear actually, to get an extra rotation and then short shift to third. 1.4 tens up now, almost 1.5 tens, heading towards this medium speed left hander, breaking at 50 meters down to fourth gear and then short shift to fifth. Keep the rear in balance, almost two tens up now. We're looking to go into the 23s on my third push lap, down to fourth gear for this right, and you can see I overslowed a bit, hit the curb on the inside too much, which unsettled the car. You can see my face not being very happy with that corner. Heading towards the final corner now, braking just after the 100 meters down to fourth gear and then short shift to fifth. Again, a little bit unstable on the exit and coming across the line, it is gonna be a 1 23.994. And Great you job. see four minutes, still a lot of time as well. 20 remaining. So many mistakes. So you have four minutes, really 20 remaining. Um, but later on in the lap, I decided to not go for another push lap. I wanted to keep that new set of softs in case there was going to be a late safety car. Uh, another one is going to be a little bit tight. Yeah. Might actually just save that set. What do you think? You already know your strategy for the race. Yeah. The principle. Right now. Only option is soft hard. Okay. Yeah. 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 When it goes safe, I'll take these cars. Yeah. So yeah, decided to go for a slow in lap and not go for another push lap in case of the late safety car. So it's uh, very tight. Yeah. In the end, I did get jumped by Alessio and Josh. Uh, didn't do the last run, so missed out on some of the track evolution, of course. Um, but anyway, track position around Bahrain, especially the first hint, is not that important. Um, so I was I rather save that set uh, in case of a late safety car, um, so I can 
I have a little bit more of a fresh set of softs uh, in case Look it does come out. Look at for P11, beautiful. Felipe missed out by 300, <laughs> lol. So yeah, also some people aiming for the alternate strategy, trying to qualify in P11. How's um, the championship going? I already won it three rounds ago. So yeah, it's going to be interesting uh, what the alternate strategies runners are going to do. Uh, I would say the best is starting on hards and then going to mediums. But um, yeah. Uh, we're going to start on softs and then try to extend that soft synth as long as possible. So we're not in risk of a puncture in the last few laps. Um, yeah. As you guys saw in my last Monza video, a lot of people got punctures. Uh, as we all tried to basically do the wall race on hards after our first lap safety car. But um, yeah, let's see uh, how it goes on those softs. Um, so uh, let's head into the race. So lining up on the grid now behind George Idowu and Alessio Di Capua. We're ahead of Alvaro Caraton and Ben Sabo. Everyone in the top 10 on the softs. It's five red lights and away we go. Initially it seems like we lacked a bit on the initial start. On the initial getaway you can see Alvaro pulling next to us going into turn one. Alessio moves to the left so I can't go for that gap. Uh, Alessio seems to be, uh, uh, sorry Alvaro seems to be ahead of us. We go for that small gap in that left hander as it was there going side by side with Alvaro into turn 4 Alessio and George as well going side by side uh, still Alvaro next to me, I'll go a little bit wide make sure to not take track limits like, um, yeah you know what I mean uh, going through the fast chicane we managed to hold on to P3 and wasn't sure if Alessio was going to go or Alvaro was going to go for it in that right hand hairpin but we managed to stay at um, and straight away I want to Save my tires, you can see brake wise up to 52 as I want to save the rears from lap 1 onwards so we can stretch those softs as long as possible, uh, which is my main aim at the moment. So I'm going to use my ERS to stay within uh, the DRS of Alessio uh, and at the same time save my rear tires, especially as Bahrain is so hard on the rear tires. So I really need to save those in this first few laps and uh, at the same time stay within DRS, of course, don't want to lose too much track position. Uh, some people might go for the undercut, but um, they will be at risk um, of a puncture during the end of the race. So we now move on to towards the end of lap 9. Uh, absolutely nothing happened, all I was doing was saving I tires. I think both have to pit this up, otherwise they could get a puncture. Yep. I will continue on. Um, quite a lot of people are already gone for the undercut. Patrick Krooch pitting at the end of lap 7, Ben Sabo pitting at the end of lap 8. Uh, I think. Patrick Sipos as well, as you can see, yeah, he's on 80%. both Alessio and George dive into the pits, we faked it, so not sure if we uh, I'm on 69. Uh, pulled nice. Alessio into the pits there, but I decided to go for one lap longer, we're the only soft runner left at the moment, uh, Yoni Tormala 1.5 seconds behind, but this is the time where I'm going to push as hard as possible, so we can minimize the damage, you can see rears are non-existent at this point, 5th uh, gear wheel spin coming out of turn 2, so... Yeah, let, let's see uh, how much Yoni is going to gain on us on this lap. You can see 56 brake bias to keep the car in balance. Uh, I, I can't really put any steering lock on and as instantly the, s the rear would snap, you can literally feel that there's no uh, yeah, rear rubber left. Quite heavily. So as you can hear JD say there, Alessio and Josh got undercut so quite heavily. Won't make the finish anyway. nope. But Why, yeah, the people Patrick that went Krooch. for the undercut uh, are going to struggle really towards the end uh, with a risk of puncture. You can see 74% on the rear left. Um, only soft runner remaining. You can see Yoni only gained two tenths so far on this lap. So we're doing a pretty solid job as this medium should be a lot faster at this point. You see through this right hander, rear wants to step out. We keep it in balance nicely. Do we have hit entry? Yep. So yeah, through that long right hander, we did lose two tenths instantly, but you can see 76% on the rear left coming into the pits now um, I'm gonna put on the hearts so we can go to the towards the end of the race um, gotta make sure I slow down because Yoni Tormala just got a penalty there oh, great job so he'll probably come out behind Carrot on it last but yep, you're tired the at the end yeah but you'll be in a Cruise Patrick and Sabo are holding them up quite a lot so, so yeah we are estimating right. that I will come out in P20 that last, which should well, be a net the P8, P9, laps, so. uh, if I remember yep, correctly. Yep. Kruch is the leading, uh, or net leader at the moment, coming out. We are not going to come out last, we actually P17. 
It's a lot better than expected. Very good outlap. You see, I barely lost time to Alessio um, on my inlap. Uh, we've lost half a second. So very, very oh, solid inlap. Um, as Alvaro, I basically gained time on Alvaro. Uh, might have been hauled a little bit in the pits. Uh, but still, that's why we stayed out that extra lap as well. To have better tires and also not get held. As no one was be able to go that extra lap longer apart from us. But currently we are in net P7. So we've been undercut by four people. Um, at the same time, we will uh, get that back uh, towards the end of the race. They're going to struggle on those tires a little bit more than everyone else. As Cruch is on Cruch, I think Patrick Sipos are both on three lap all the tires. So um, yeah, they're going to struggle towards the end of the race on those tires. But now we just need to get past Shizu zones. Will undercut us as well, and uh, yeah, basically get back into. Uh, and that's P6. So, yeah, also at the same time, we need to be aware of the alternate strategy. Runners Jakey Benham uh, on the hearts, starting the P11, which is perfect for the alternate strategy. Uh, I think he's uh, a net P2 of the alternate strategy runners, Johnny Tormla leading. Who has the penalty? Zone, guys, still need to pit. No, he's pitted already. So, yeah, she's his own, already made a pit stop, and now we're gonna go down the inside in turn one. He's not gonna defend. I think he's trying to. Uh, drive his own race a little bit more. Probably realizing that three lap all the tires, he's not gonna keep that position forever. So around the outside in turn two we go. Okay. And now we're back behind Alessio. Um, still want to be a little bit careful on my tires in those first few laps. Uh, so we can really uh, pull the pin uh, in the last ten laps I would say. And not have to worry about tire wear at all after that point. So. Yeah, now I'm gonna try and hunt down Alessio and uh, see if we can get past. Now moving on to the end of lap 19, you can see the wall top 6 train, net P6 train, has stayed the same. So uh, Josh struggling to get past uh, the people ahead of him, the top 3 basically. As now I'm gonna turn on my overtake button. 60 percent. As JD tells me the ERS levels of Alessio, I'm gonna go for it. You can see I keep the overtake button on going into turn 1 gonna break slightly later down the inside we go he moves a little bit under braking just we touch in, but we managed to get past into p5 now a little bit of contact made no harm done no one got damaged so now gonna hunt down Josh who's was only half a second ahead of me um, Ben Sabo still p3 and Patrick Krooge on three lap all the tires then uh, both Josh and me still in the lead so he's doing a very solid job but the question now is are those tires gonna drop off that's going to be very interesting. As Josh goes a little bit wide, um, I want to recharge my ERS a little bit uh, at this point. So uh, I'm not going to attack Josh straight away, but if Josh is going to take too long uh, with passing Ben Sabo, then yeah. I will have to make the move. Because um, otherwise we are out of contention for the win. Uh, Josh at 80% ERS, so 20% more than us. We have to somehow turn that around and push him into using ERS. I pulled the pin at this point and just decided to use uh, all the extra tires I have to try and get myself up to the front. You see we're still in plus 2.3 laps of fuel. I didn't expect to be in this much traffic, so I can't run in Rich Mitch as much. You can see backhand stepping out, coming out of the last corner. Um, so I can't run Rich because just I will just simply overheat the engine. Now. Uh, as Josh goes down the inside of Ben Sabo into turn 1, he overshoots a little bit, almost hit Krooch as Patrick Sipos has gone into the lead now. Josh tries to go around the outside but can't yeah, make it work. There, surely. Oh, I don't have DRS. As I briefly dropped out of uh, DRS, as Josh used a lot of ERS um, on that lap, so uh, probably Josh down now to 40%. Josh down as to 40%. Yeah, <laughs> uh, perfect uh, uh, prediction from myself there. Um, as Josh tried to go for the move, so used a lot of ERS and didn't gain any track position. So soon we're gonna have to make the move on Josh ourselves if he doesn't make it work. Probably Benz also used a lot to defend from Josh on that lap. Um, but yeah, we have the tire advantage at this point, so 50%. we should be able to get past on tire advantage as well. So still P5. Who's in the Red Bull? Uh, CRG Patrick. Go. 
are still behind Josh. So yeah, I turn on the overtake to try and get a little bit closer, yeah, but Josh tires does this the exact group. same. Yeah. Um, so we can maybe have a look at Ben Sabo again into turn one. But yeah, it's not looking very good for us at the moment as we're P5 with seven laps to go. On the exit. As Josh is 48% coming out of the last corner, he's going to turn on the overtake Why again. Why is he going for it? I don't get it. Uh, going into turn now. one now. I was having a little look, maybe I, I was be able to send it, but not really as Alessio and Alvaro behind me um, are going side by side. I think yeah, I almost, almost got hit. Iris usage. So yeah, struggling JKB to has damage. make Copy. any moves. Uh, Jakey on the alternate strategy got damage. Um, so he's not really a threat anymore. Alvaro, three second penalty behind us. Alessio still in P6 behind us. Um, so yeah, this wall strategy of trying to go longer on the softs has not really paid off at the moment. Um, it might if people get punctures. Yeah, no, but no him to get past Josh, you got a great chance. Yeah, we don't really have a huge tyre advantage, or not like time-wise. Um, Josh, 45%. As it feels like at the moment, uh, having fresher tyres is not really paying off, unless people start getting punctures. You can see, the, I think Patrick Sipos in P1 almost pulling out of DRS as we are still stuck in traffic here so now behind Josh um, only 2.8 tens behind him I'm gonna turn on the overtake button he does the same I think so um, but we did it slightly longer hence why we got slightly more momentum going into the last one you can see now we're almost on his gearbox as we're gonna turn on the overtake button again I think Josh does the same as he does obviously or he obviously wants to defend from me I'm his biggest threat at the moment so going into turn one Josh goes down the outside. I decide very late to go down the inside. It's a little bit of a touch. Um, again, no damage done. So, uh, luckily, no damage. As uh, you see, my engine overheating really badly. I pull out of the slipstream. Uh, as you can hear JD say there, 20% ERS for Josh. So, we have a major ERS advantage. But my engine is overheating, obviously. So, gonna cool it through this middle sector. You can see it running lean through this wall middle sector. I have way too much fuel, but at the, at the moment, the engine temperature is quite a bit more important. So, gonna turn it briefly up to Rich to get that um, traction. Short shift to 7 to cool the engine a little bit more. Josh goes a little bit wide again. Probably feeling the pressure going into the double He's left hander. 47, 48 rear. Okay. So yeah. Uh, just 48% on the rear left, tire wear wise. Tire wear, we're looking obviously Second. very good. We're not going to be under uh, threat of a puncture. So, uh, it's JKB now with the fastest lap behind us in P7. Um, on those mediums, obviously has wing damage, but has He's the tire advantage. He's on 30% ERS. And I think JKB got uh, damage, I think, one or two laps ago. So, don't think we're really going to be under threat from him. As now coming out of the final corner, we know we have more uh, E-Rest than Josh, so we're going to go for it. I decide to turn it off, actually. And Josh is going to use it all to try and have a go no, he's on the 10. at Ben Sabo. Yep. You can see his rear lights are flashing, which means he's on the 10. Josh goes defensive, so we can prepare the exit very nicely here. Short shift to Ford. Poor hearts are struggling at this point. Josh almost loses the back end. We're going to turn on the overtake, going into turn 4, around the outside of Josh. I have to watch out for Ben Sabo who is slowing down for the battle in front of him. Around the outside we go, we turn on the overtake button and we make it work up to P4 now. As uh, you can see CRG Patrick just got a penalty there, I think so. Josh tries to come back at me into the hairpin here, but we got it covered off uh, on the inside. So up to P4 we go, we have only five laps remaining. Sure. So it's gonna be very tricky to make up four or three positions in uh, five laps. We have to make the moves fast. We only have 46% ERS remaining. Um, depending on what the others have, it's going to be a very tough fight. So, um, yeah, let's see how easily we can make uh, the move on Ben Sabo. Uh, Patrick still pretty decent lead after that battle into turn four. Uh, we, I'm not. I wasn't sure at the time how much Ben Sabo had. So I decided to just cool, me en cool my engine and um, uh, try to save some ERS back. I'm going to turn on the DRS. I know Josh doesn't really have any uh, ERS to play with. So I'm not going to turn on I my... I ERS, so I'll let you know. not going to turn on my overtake as Alessio goes down the inside of Josh. Going into turn one. And right here, I get hit. 
almost loses the back end. Um, almost loses the back end in on the exit of turn one as I got hit. Um, Josh managed to stay ahead, which is good as you can see. Alessio and Jakey now going side by side into turn four. Um, Jakey almost got a move done, but you can see I think he ran a little bit wide there. So again, engine overheating, gonna cool it here. As Ben's almost to lose the rear, now it's the time to attack. They go down the inside of the hairpin here, down to second gear, all the way around outside. Ben's pushes a little bit wide onto the curb. I've got poor exit because I got pushed onto the curb. Down the inside of the double left-hander, we're gonna make it work and up to P3 we go. Um, perfect timing as uh, Ben's make that made that mistake, made my life a lot Russell. easier. So now we are behind CAG Patrick. How this Red Bull doesn't find it too much. Both uh, Patrick, uh, CAG Patrick and Patrick Krooge um, on three lap all the tires. So these are the people that are going to be easier to overtake. You can see Patrick struggling a little bit with the rear in the double right-hander. So uh, I, I expect this to be a little bit easier. Uh, they probably have around 10% more tire wear. So they are going to be in the threat of having a puncture and we are not. So we can just focus on ourselves and push as hard as possible. I'm not going to straight away go for it as I still have uh, four laps to try and get past. So yeah, I go into turn one, a little bit of a lock up, um, but we, I don't think we're going to be in the threat from Ben Sabo at this point. going to open my DRS again, going to cool the Cruise engine, you can see straight away. 30% DRS. Going down to lean. Patrick Cruz indicator on his tires on more or less uh, the same ERS okay. level. Two yeah, percent away. Copy. Uh, so we are two percent away from the tire wear indicator. Not sure when Patrick got it, of course. So can't really exactly say how much more or less he has. You see, he went wide into that hairpin, which yeah, cost him quite a lot of time. On tires. As uh, yeah, oh, I think I got a small hit from behind. I'm not sure. It looked a little bit weird. But anyway, um, they look to struggle on tires and maybe ERS as well if we push him to the absolute limit. Um, Patrick has been struggling. Bridge? Yes. Okay. In that middle sector, you can see you can hear JD say 8% more tire wear than me. As my tire wear indicator just comes on, which means we're on 60% tire wear on the rear left. We're not going to be in the threat from uh, a puncture, but Patrick is. He's on 25% ERS as well. With twice as much ERS as Patrick, uh, both Patricks are just ahead of me. So I'm going to turn on the overtake. Uh, CHG Patrick actually in the 10% ERS now. We go down the inside. And maybe we can make a double move here going into turn one. Uh, I was thinking about making a move, but yeah, wasn't sure I, um, if that was going to work. Anyway, we still have time to get Patrick Gucci. Well, you can see his back end stepping out on that exit. We're going to turn on the overtake. I'm going to cool my engine. You see it going down to Good lean. Job. We have way too much fuel, but it doesn't matter at this point. Just need to get it moved on as I almost got hit by CRG Patrick into turn 4. I think he missed his breaking point a little bit. Um, Cruise on 20% ERS. So we have twice as much ERS as Patrick Cruise at this point, uh, which is crucial as um, we need to make that move. You see, struggling again, Patrick, with the rear in that hairpin. He's struggling a lot on traction as we simply have a lot more rubber left on those rears. Uh, you can see I'm still not wheel spinning out of corners as, it, as that would just lose me time. It's a very dark and orange indicator now. And just okay. create um, too much heat. And then we're at risk of overheating the tires. But now we are going to set up a move for uh, the main straight, I would say. So you can see it really it's really easy for me to stick behind him. Uh, or within three tenths. Didn't really need to use any overtake to stay within that three tenths. But now going into the final He's corner. On we are gonna turn on that overtake button coming out of this corner and try to get past. Turn on the, on the overtake and now we're gonna get DRS as well. You can see I turned it off actually because I wanted to gain the advantage from the slipstream. As going into turn one, it's gonna be an easy pass. And now um, I'm not gonna try and pull out of DRS as Patrick is fighting for P2 in the championship. And even though Patrick is not a uh, Mercedes AMG F1 esports driver, I still want to get. Mercedes to uh, finish P1, P2, both in this Wait race and in the championship. So, yeah, I'm not going to pull out of just bring it home now. TRS. Just going to bring it home, save my rears a little bit, just in case. And uh, keep Patrick within that one second. You see Ben Sabo into P3, only a tenth behind Patrick Crouch. So, 
Josh obviously also uh, two lap fresh tires and Patrick we are just gonna um, uh, help Patrick as much as possible at this point you can see I turn on the oh, I'll keep Patrick and Tiras I turn on the overtake there but um, decide to turn it off straight away as Patrick is struggling both yeah, with the ERS and tires, so he no, no. he's gonna be in the big threat in that last lap from both Ben Sabo, but probably even more from Josh, as Josh is the only one that has really fresh tires, and um, probably ERS. So going into the final lap now, at 50% ERS. He's at ERS. very high risk of a puncture now. He's at yeah. 10%. Even my sure tire wear indicator yep, is yep. orange now. So I'm gonna turn on my overtake a little bit, so I'm safe of people sending it into turn one so and no, no, not get hit. Yeah, as I think that was Juni Tormala coming out on wet. Uh, I wasn't sure. As Josh sends it into turn one on Ben Sabo. Alvaro Carrington retires from the race. Probably damage. I think he got, he, he got involved with a crash uh, between himself, Juni Tormala and LSU Di Capua. So I think that's why Alvaro retired, probably had no front wing anymore. But now Patrick still in P2, struggling with the rears. Uh, 7.6 tenths now. I slow down a little bit through this hairpin so he can stay within the arrest. You I see. think he was His exit looked really weird. No, not on his screen at the moment. Okay. So yeah, final DRS over Patrick now. Nothing I can do anymore. Just gonna push. Uh, so he doesn't have any dirt here. You can see three tenths. Uh, oh, sorry, that was a little bit of a bug. Okay, I'll push a little uh, bit in the last sector. So yeah, I'm gonna turn on the overtake now. Try and uh, extend the gap so Patrick doesn't have any dirt here on that last lap. And coming out of the second last corner, gonna turn on my overtake button again and pull a little bit of a gap. Punch up, I think. Uh, no, he doesn't. No, 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 he doesn't. So yeah, George and Patrick going side by side into the last corner, but. Patrick oh, managed to stay on to P2 and we finish 1 2 7 in nice a row. One. Good shit, man. Oh, nice I'm one. sweating. Nah, no, good shit. Awesome drive. Grazie. Grazie. So, it's my seventh win in a row. Um, eight out of nine race wins and a 1 2 for Mercedes in both this race and in the championship. So, great way to. A finish of the online racing league season 14 season um, so yeah just very happy to get my seventh win in a row after qualifying only p3 in the um, in the final race so um, very solid result um, so yeah just very happy uh, about the f finale of overall um, hope you guys enjoyed make sure to like and subscribe if you want to see more and uh, see you guys next time um, there is a little bit of a break uh, for league racing as next one is in nine days for PSGL around France. So it's going to take a while for my next league race. So uh, at least I will have time to prepare very well for that. Um, we're still in the championship fight for PSGL even though we've missed five rounds. So um, that's the aim for now. And uh, see you guys next time.